All right, so we are here at Carolina Panthers training camp. My name is Justin Ayers for Not For Long Media, and I am joined by Miles Hartsfield. Big 38, you're in motor vibes. <laughs> yes, sir. Dude, it's so good to see you. Good to see you. Thank too. you for hopping on here for a little bit. Of course, of course. So I was reading all about your, your youth football camp back yeah. in New Jersey. Like, what do you like most about giving back to the community that, that you know, helps set you up? Uh, just going back to the place you grew up, being in the place where I played Pop Warner since I was five years old and seeing all the kids that are trying to be the same way, you know. Not a lot of people make it from my town. It's a small town in Sarah, New Jersey. Um, and, you know, it's it's challenging. You know, when you, when you don't have nobody before you to show you the ropes, yeah. that's why I always go back home to do little, do things for the kids because I want to show them that it's possible. You know, don't don't let – I know everybody would say, what's your plan B? But, you know, make plan B, make plan A work. You know what I'm saying? So that's that. my idea of going back home and giving back. And you get some of your Panthers teammates to come tag along, right? Yeah, yeah. I got about seven of my teammates to come up there. Uh, Jeremy. Champ, Keith, um, Madre, it was a bunch of us, and Sam, yeah. all of us just had a bunch of good time, um, good food, I got to show them around New Jersey, because like some of them weren't from New Jersey, so mm -hmm. being able to show them why I'm, I rep Jersey so hard, it, it was a good experience. I love that, dude. So, I mean, you play a ton of positions on defense, like, and, and you're so versatile. Like, how much pride do you take in the ability to be, you know, if and when needed, you can play anywhere, basically? Uh, it's all, it all starts before I step on the field, you know? It starts in the film room, you know, not just listening to my position, listening to what the corners got, because what they happen, what happens to them affects me, and what the safeties do, and what the nickel do, linebackers, because, you know, once you get to this level, everybody affects one another, you know what I'm saying? You, you're, you're, in some which way and fashion, every practice, every play, you're going to affect someone. You know, if I'm in the wrong position, I know that affect the mic. So now I can, if somebody ever goes down, boom, they can put me in a different position. So it always happens before I step on the field. That's why I'm so prepared to play these different positions. Did I hear that? You, are you a podcaster as well? Yes, yes, yes. I have uh, my own podcast, This Is Me Podcast, and a network, which is uh, the off season. That's fantastic. So is, what's it about? Like, can you give me a little like preview? Yeah. So the, the network itself is about giving people who want to do a podcast a platform. You know, we buy all the equipment. We literally are in the process of, you know, going to buy a facility and put like together multiple rooms. So kids nowadays, they don't, everybody wants to be on YouTube. Everybody yeah. wants to do it. So give them an opportunity to, you know, some people don't have the financial stability to buy all this equipment you know cameras are expensive yeah you know somebody to edit is expensive you know that's what we have in our net we have camera people we have picture people we have videotapers we have cameras all all of it so it's just giving people a space where they can do it and low charge and nothing crazy and then the, the podcast that i do this is me podcast is just basically diving into everything outside of football land people because you know when you get in front of these cameras you know uh, sometimes you got to be politically correct you know, but, you know, sometimes you want to let down your guard, ask those silly questions. Like, my question is this year, I mean, this this season that we just ended was, what was your favorite Disney Channel, Disney movies? And what's your, uh, who do you think is going to be on the cover of the next NCAA uh, cover? So, like, just letting, just letting the, the kid come back yeah. into the life. So, you know, we get so caught up with being professional. But, again, we're, we're humans, too. I love that, dude. Yeah, absolutely. We have to check that out. You have to get on with Colin on his podcast. Yeah, we got to get it done. We got to set that up. We got to get it done. Yeah, yeah. have his people talk to your people. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. So how excited were you to be reunited with your old Ole Miss teammate, Matt Corral? So excited, man. Seeing Matt come in when we was at Ole Miss, it was like Cali boy, Cali swag. <laughs> Cali, you know Cali coming cool. Down, coming down to the south, it was cool. He had that, that you know, everybody from Cali got that little walk to them, that little swag to them. They're just so, cooler. Yeah, yeah, they, they cooler in some type of way, you know what I'm saying? And then um, when he got drafted here, I was excited, you know. Got uh, got him some customized cleats that had his drafted top when he got drafted, Ole Miss and the Panthers on there because, you know, nobody, I, you know, I had people here from Ole Miss, but they did stuff for me, so it was yeah. only right for me to give that to Matt. And it's the little things, like, I don't play quarterback. I can't help him out with that, but, you know, welcoming him. You know, being able to, uh, you know, like, show him where to eat, what, yeah. who, like, what's the best places, getting him, like, if I got to pick him up, yo, he know he can call on me. So just opening that door because it's, it's stressful as a rookie. And I know it's even more stressful as a rookie quarterback. Uh, so uh, I just wanted to open up that door to show him, like, yo, bro, I'm here for anything you need. Yeah, that's, that's got to make him feel better, knowing that, you know, he steps into a situation where he knows some people. Because right. I feel like that's intimidating, you know, somebody high around draft pick, quarterback, a lot of pressure, and he's got his buddy with him. So I think that's what, – what does he bring as a quarterback and what does he bring as a person? Oh, I'll talk to him as a person because I've known Matt for a minute now and a fun dude who knows when to have fun but knows when to, like, lock down and be serious. But, you know, giving person. A lot of people don't think that Matt's this giving person that, well, he'll give you his shirt off his back if you need to. Like, <laughs> like, and he's just a cool dude, humble dude that – 
just a go-getter, like trying to work for everything that he gets, and he never wants anything given to him. So I love that about Matt. And then as a player, aggressive, yeah. wants to go get that first down if he's running somebody over. I don't know if he should do that too much in the league. We, we're bigger now, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So slide if you need to. Uh, but, you know, somebody who's going to go get it, you yeah. know what I'm saying, by any means necessary. So did I see this right? Did you have the last regular season sack of Tom Brady before he retired? Yes, my first sack, last sack with Tom Brady, but the unofficial retired last sack of the regular season. I mean, for two months there, did you just think, like, damn, like, that's got to be the, that's gonna be a cool feeling. Yeah, that was the first game I actually got to – Second game, I really got to start at safety. Yeah. You know, I've been, I was starting at nickel, go, coming off the edge, but uh, Jeremy had went down, so I had to step into playing the boundary safety. I was more of the field safety, so that's the one who blitzes in the box, and that's what I like. I like to be around the mix. I want to take on guards. I want to be in the mix, tackle, yeah. all that stuff. So, you know, that was my best game so far, you know, 12 tackles, all that. And I think it, it gave me the confidence into leaping into this year of not worrying about nothing I can't control. Control what you can control, you know, let everything else play how it's supposed to play. I love that. All right, I have one last question. Then we're doing a couple quick uh, Panthers trivia questions for you. Woo-hoo. I know we're gonna put you to the oh, test. Uh, Terrible I, at trivia. <laughs> this is my. I always like to end with this one. What is the best piece of advice that you've ever received? What's the best piece of advice. Uh, I got a. So it's not really advice, but when I was uh, in college, we used to read this poem called "The Wise Old Owl." Uh, so it's the wise old owl sat on the oak. The more he sat, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. And why could that be like that wise old bird? You know, that, that just sat with me like, you don't always have to have an answer for everything. There's somebody out there, there's people out there that you can learn from, don't matter if they're younger, older, same age. So grasping everything that everybody talks about and just literally just tells you is, uh, you know, it only enhances your knowledge more of things. So that's how I live my life. Like, you don't always have to be the biggest voice. You don't always have to be the guy first to talk. Yeah. You can listen and be like, okay, I like how he said that. Or I like how he's moving. It's not only about speaking, it's also about movements, how somebody's moving, how they carry themselves. And that's how I live my life, just watching people how they move so I can either do it just the same because they did it great or do it a little bit better because I learned from their mistakes. Dude, I love that. All right, I have three Panther trivia questions for you. So how many players on the roster right now went to Temple University? <laughs> Can I count for a second? Yeah. All right. You got Tompy. Yep. You got Sean. You got uh, Sam. Um, P- PJ. Keith. Uh, Robbie. I'm missing one. I know I'm missing one. You want a hint? Oh, Matt. Yep, that's it. Seven. Yep. Oh, I like that. Dude, you killed that. I like that. It's like Temple Nation, Bailey Nation out here. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Which player on the roster has made the most Pro Bowls? Made the most Pro Bowl. Johnny Hecker? Yep. Four. Come on, man. Four time Pro Bowl. Come Bowler. on, man. I like that. <laughs> All right, last question. Which player on the roster was a former six time Pepsi Rookie of the Week winner? That's high school? Uh, no, it's uh, NFL. Pepsi of the Week winner? Rookie of the Week. Rookie of the Week. Yeah. Who had a great rookie year? Um, can I get a hit? Offense or defense? Offense. Offense. Okay, that breaks it down. Christian? Oh, don't. No. Your face didn't tell me yet, so. Um, new guy. New guy. I'm talking brand new. Brand new. Higgins? Uh, Higgins? Baker. Baker? Yeah. yeah. I, even, I forgot that he was brand new. Yeah. <laughs> this has been awesome. You're the man. Thank you. Thank you so much for hopping on.